Welcome to this tutorial on how to use the Extrude tool in Rhino 7. In this video we're going to look at how to turn our 2D lines into 3D objects using the Extrude command. The Extrude command can be found in the Solids tool menu just under the little box tool here and found down the bottom here with the Extrude Close Planar Curve tool and the Extrude Surface tool. Now for this tutorial we're going to be looking at the Extrude Close Planar Curve because we're going to be taking our closed curves here or closed lines and pulling them up into 3D shapes. So if we go into the perspective view and we make this a little bit larger, we'll zoom in on the first of our objects here and then we're either going to type in extrude into the command bar or find it via that menu we just showed. Select extrude curve there, left click and you'll see we're then pulling that upwards into a 3D shape from here. Now, by default, you'll usually have the view set to wireframe if you've just opened up Rhino. And that means when we make our 3D models, we just get a kind of wireframed outline of those models. If we want the objects to appear more three dimensional and appear more solid, we can just go to the drop down menu next to the perspective icon here and select the shaded or ghosted view for this model to give it a kind of more solid shape there, as we can see. Now, when you pull this up, You'll notice that mine here has a top piece and a bottom piece to it, but by default this little solid marker up in the menu is usually set to no. And if that happens, you'll see if we pull this up, left click to end the command, we'll end up with an extruded shape, but it has no top and bottom on it. It's completely empty on both sides. Now, as you've just seen, if you want to kind of make sure that that's solid when we use the tool, we'll just type in the command again. We can select this solid option in the menu here and it will give a cap to the top and bottom of that object to ensure that when we left click it becomes a completely solid piece of geometry. And it's important that we make solid pieces of geometry when we do this because it allows us to use different tools later on when we want to start merging or combining multiple shapes together. Now if you haven't noticed that option of being solid when you made it and you've gone ahead and you've extruded your box and you want to then make it solid from this point, we can also do that just by selecting the object and type in cap into your command line to essentially cap off both ends and give a top and a bottom to that piece of geometry. So there's two ways of going about that, but it's always good that when you use the extrude tool, just make sure that that solid option is ticked to yes. Now you'll see here I'm extruding out this blue line, but it's still a grey object at the moment. And the reason for that is that the kind of layer that your extrusions will be made on will always be the same as the layer that's active right now. So if we want to make sure we're making objects in the blue layer, I need to double click that when using the extrude tool. And there you'll see the object I'm making is on that blue layer too. And there we can draw that up too. So a very simple tool to use. Obviously as well with this tool we can also define the exact height that we want to extrude with and that can be done just by typing in the value that you require in your menu. So if we want this 10 meters high we can type that in if we want that 15 as per so. Or we can also when creating the object use the snaps to snap to the edges of new objects we've made. So if we want it kind of midway on this object we can snap and find that midpoint there or we can do it all the way to the top by snapping to the top of that tool there too. So that was just a quick introduction to using the extrude tool to create 3D geometry from closed 2D lines in Rhino. Thank you for watching.